Welcome to the vlog. I gotta get up early tomorrow. We're going on a ride with Lore and a couple of people hit me up also as well. So we're gonna meet up with Gerald and Justin. I don't know if the three of them know each other. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Better than riding solo. Up wheelies toys, up walk toys. I don't like going up the buak bay. Uh, it's okay. I just got used to the feeling. Uh, you can go to like Temple of Leia. Have you done that? Haven't. What? Soon. Do it. Yeah, mag, kanang, once you get to the top, then you can go to the top. Oh, yeah, sure. From there, Carl. Temple of Leia? <laughs> Some rich person does in their money. <laughs> it really is, though. <laughs> it really is. I mean, I, I don't know, maybe they've made the money back. Hmm. Why is it called know. Temple of Leia? Maybe Rick, that's the name of his wife. But the back part there by is really nice. Well, uh, no big deal naman yun para ni mo ba eh? So, gisagitan yun ka or? Sagit siya, sagit siya. Private number 10! Ano ba? He said that... Don't, don't. You lock name of Mama Mary. Put it inside your house. <laughs> yeah, put it inside the house, man. But have you ridden in Sudlun? Yeah. Nice, no? Super. All the farms and everything. You know, if you're not like tired from <laughs> getting there. Well, yeah. But no, yeah. We start and, because we stay in the book, right? Oh, yeah. We start there and we go in Sudlun. And then, it's like they built so many side roads there, huh? Like all these different. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. Kaya ra kaya. Ah, hon na, ah. Oh, ginay na ba? Ah, kunara pa. Mo ba? Ano mo sa manang like in terms of like the ride? Tao kana kana rough road. Ano pa siya kana smooth? Asin hindi ka ing dagan pa. Ah mo ba? Kung kung rough road especially kay dili kay siya untol. Oh kana. Aba ma ano siya ba absorb ang ano sa ride? Ah it absorbs the vibrations. What's the name of the of the, of the brand? Balanghai? Yeah, Balanghai. Uh, Come on. So we started off. Damn. Or should I? <laughs> yeah, I was like, I don't know if this is a good spot, but but yeah, um, I'm right beside him right now. A bamboo by company. Uh, <laughs> we can do it on the top. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, I can't think. Do it. My legs are on fire. Are we like? Okay. Well, there's different kinds of bamboo, and they have different properties and strength too. but uh, we use iron bamboo which is a strong hey, hello like an iron bamboo bike will last as long as a carbon steel or aluminum bike will last and like it'll go through what you need to go through the stress of like biking it can definitely handle bamboo is pretty it's a very compliant material so it absorbs a lot of vibration absorbs a lot of shock it takes a lot to break bamboo Mm. If it does break, it doesn't crack. It'll, it'll have a hairline split. So it's also not as dangerous as like when you. Ah, there's, it's not like an immediate failure. Like no, no, it'll start as a small split. Like there, there's videos online by like carbon bikes just break. Yeah, like full on breaking in the middle of, of some guy sprinting. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen like carbon handlebars break just from a guy falling off, not clipping onto his. No? And not on clipping and falling, like a small fall like that, breaking carbon handlebars. The ride of the bamboo is definitely superior. Mo ba? Yeah. You think so? For sure. For sure, man. Like, that's why I encourage people to try it. I guess why I said, land you one. Just try it, man. But I want to try. Yeah. Okay, the story I'm very of John curious. Is, first bamboo bike he made, um, Greg LeMond tested it out. Uh -huh. Greg LeMond, like legend, on a descent in the Tour de France in between stages and. 
he really liked it, dude. Like, Moba? Yeah, so that's like from like bikers, you know. Like, it's, it's, it's a good ride. Yeah. I'll give it a try. Never like, again, two days in a row. You can do it, man! It's intense. I can, but. You're gonna be 150 pounds in 2021. <laughs> okay, so say like for gravel, right? Mm. It's all rigid. So having a bamboo frame. That's what I'm curious about because it should, in theory, absorb all of those vibrations. It feels a lot more dead with the bamboo. Mm. So it's up to you if you like that. It feels dead. But uh, when it's like over the rough terrain, it is preferable. <laughs> yeah. Like, we've done like some rough, katong, some of the rough stuff, ba? Yeah, the last one we did in Puerto Yeah, Yeah, they're kind of just going, katong, we're going downhill. Yeah. yeah. So your vision's kind of like. <laughs> yeah, and then all of a sudden, it was oh, like this, by it was like the roads were like fine. And then all of a sudden, there were rain ruts. Mm. Like while we were going at speed. Mm. Yeah, the road. Nga. It's paved. It's paved. It's paved. paved. It's paved. It's paved. It's paved. It's paved. Good ride with Lord Gerald and Justin. Good ride, guys. Uh, I'm I'm very interested in this bamboo bike. Let's see if uh, Lord can get that gravel bike up, and hopefully he'll still lend it to me. So shout out Dustin Klein. Ride by the numbers. 43.75 kilometers, three hours, five minutes, and 49 seconds moving time, and 935 meters of elevation gain. Bamboo. I really want to give it a try. Like, bring it over some rough terrain. That would be cool. Okay, no boring day. Subscribe.